Hey guys, I'm sitting here uh, after a bike ride, I just took a shower, and I was just thinking about how, um, I don't think I've ever done a video talking about cycling during the winter. And, um, you know, some of some people, if you live in Southern California, maybe winter, maybe the four seasons don't affect you as much. Uh, but some of us, the seasons do affect us. For me, uh, this is going to be a different year for me because usually during the winter, I don't ride as much because of the cold. Um, but when I do ride, I've had to adjust the gear that I wear. And I'm just like, you know what? Because I remember like um, when I first started talking to Cholo Trucker about cycling, um, sometimes we're so used to the verbiage, the equipment, the things we use for cycling that I just assume everybody knows, you know, and um, so even the such things like the cycling shorts or the cleats for your shoes that clip into your pedal, things like that, you know. So uh, I thought I would make a short video kind of showing what I wear during the winter rides because you gotta, you gotta be different, a little, a little bit different um, on what you wear for cycling. Like, you know how you, um, get up in the morning and sometimes it's cool well when you start riding that cool becomes cold uh so it's been a little bit like that the last few weeks that i've been riding when i get up early and uh so i just wanted to quickly show you i don't want to do a start start talking a bunch without just showing you what i'm talking about so like for instance these are my cycling shoes see the clip i can clip into my pedals um but in the winter uh, my feet get cold guys so uh they have a lot of people don't know they have shoe covers for cyclists so this shoe this is a um a cover my shoe goes into it and it looks like this i'll show you the other foot it looks like this and um see it's uh has velcro has a zipper so i can put my shoe into it i can put my foot into it and um see so when I put it on, I put my foot in, and then I put this up, it wraps up, I zip it up, and the bottom has a hole, that way this doesn't stop this from clipping in. This, guys, <laughs> trust me, it is the worst thing to go on a ride and your feet go numb from the cold. This prevents that. Um, it's pretty cool, you know. I didn't even know they existed one time until one time me and Sharon went into a cycling store in uh, San Jose, and they had these on clearance. Uh, and it's cool because these are reflective. Uh, you can't tell, but it's reflective. Uh, Sharon just got new ones because hers uh, messed up. She had we had the same ones. See, but you can get these on Amazon. Look at these are hers. Hers are uh, these are just a different kind, but same thing. Well, very well insulated. And she got these on uh, on um, Amazon. So shoe covers, guys. The next thing is I wanted to share is obviously gloves. I, I always ride with gloves with those fingers cut. That way I can just touch my gears better. But besides your feet freezing, your fingers freeze. And that is the worst, guys. So again, on Amazon, cycling gloves. Uh, I got these that have the fingertips so I can still use my phone. My, it's still sensitive to my phone. So this prevents my fingers from... And obviously it matters how cold it is where you're at. Because when, on really, really cold days, this even doesn't do it justice. But on average, I have these gloves here that help. You know, um, my hands from freezing. Because that's the worst. When you're riding and just your hands go numb, it starts to be painful. Uh, so get a nice pair of gloves. Uh, there's different gloves made for different temperatures. Um, make sure you want to get some that resist the wind because if they're warm gloves, but the wind goes through it, well, you're still going to be cold. Um, and there's another one that I've had to use a couple times. Not often, but I'm not going to put it on, guys. But basically, it just literally covers my whole head with my just... It just leaves enough room like this for my glasses. 
uh, this kind of keeps your whole neck, your ears, uh, everything warm. Because again, when you're riding and you're going, you know, 10, 11, 12, 15, maybe 20 miles an hour, all that cold air is hitting your face, hitting your fingers, and hitting your feet, and that makes riding not fun. And this is the one thing that I really like is these caps. Um, you can you have to wear a helmet, guys, because you it, it literally saves your life. Um, I'm convinced of it. One time, Sharon fell off her bike, hit a pole with the back of her head, and cracked her helmet. And the basically the when the ambulance came. They basically said, had she not been wearing that helmet, she um, highly likely would have just died. She had just had surgery. She literally had a scar back there, and she would have hit that scar, you know. But anyways, these things also, um, these are made for cycling. So a lot of times, you know, your helmet, think about it, the cold, and I'm bald. Look at all those holes. So as you're riding and the wind is hitting you, it's, hit, it's freezing your feet, freezing your hands, freezing your face, and, um, and these holes. So with this, these are made for cycling, you know? So you put it here and look, look what it covers. Because this is the part that hurts. I, I know you know what it's like when your ears freeze. Bam. And this is what's perfect. It's, it's made to be warm, but yet thin enough. Look at that. So now, look at that. My ears and all the holes are now covered. And I can keep warm. Because if you could, if you could keep your head warm, you can keep your body warm. You know? And again, I got this on a, it's a cycling, cycling cap. And it's made to be able to fit. It's, it's made to be warm, but thin enough to fit under your cycling uh, helmet. So those are the things that uh, that I wear. Those are the things that I wear, guys, and uh, just to help you along because some of you might not know, and maybe you, know, you got interested in cycling. Um, a couple other things that I do wear that I don't have. I just thought of it now, is I wear a dry fit shirt when I when I ride, and then I actually wear a dry fit shirt underneath, and then a dry fit shirt over uh, that says Soul Riders on it. Uh, but even today, this morning, I have a dry fit underneath and it's a long sleeve. So that's, that helps. And, um, also very seldom do I have to wear these, but I have these, um, pants that are, that are insulated cycling pants, uh, also that no wind. I mean, they're just like nice and warm inside, uh, but enough, uh, circulation of air that it's not like. It's not like you're wearing plastic, you know, that would be horrible because then all that heat stays in. Um, but I've hardly had to wear those. I kind of tend to warm up really quick, you know, so the pants that I do wear, I wear the cycling shorts and then I wear these pants over um, the cycling shorts. And then I have these, you know, shoe covers on. Uh, I got my gloves. I got my my cap underneath my uh, my uh, my um, helmet. Um and then I have a windbreaker, and that's if it's really cold. So this is going to be an interesting winter because the ride that we're doing from Los Angeles to Santa Monica is in February, guys. And you know what that means? That means I have to ride and train and condition through this month of October, through November, through December, through January, the coldest months. There's no way I can take a break like I usually do. Um... And then be ready to do that ride and um, in February. And matter of fact, in February, uh, at least in San Francisco, it's going to be cold. You know, so these are this is gear that if you are going to do the ride with us, you're going to need this gear uh, or you're going to have a horrible time. Because, man, that cold air, when that cold air hits you, boy, you know, and these make all the difference. And what I like about it, for instance, the, the cycling, the, the shoe covers. If it warms up, I can take them off my shoes. If it warms up, if this gets hot, I can take this off of my head. You know, um, if it warms up, I could take this face mask off. If it warms up, I can change my gloves from these to the regular ones. You know, but these are the things that you want to have because uh, it just makes it a lot easier, guys. So 
I don't know, maybe something you're interested in, maybe not. But I just uh, was thinking about it this morning because it was a little cold. And I put the shoe covers on and I put my long sleeve on. Uh, it wasn't that cold, so I didn't wear anything on my head other than my helmet. And I wore my regular gloves. But I can feel the season changing. And I like to do my rides early. So um, usually uh, that's when it's coldest, even if it does warm up later on. So anyways, guys, uh, see you later. Thank you so much. God bless you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, I want to start painting. I, I have something sketched on canvas, but I don't want to do any more paintings until I'm able to do it live on this channel. And I can't go live until I hit 1,000 subscribers. YouTube doesn't let me. Uh, and I think I'm close to 800, so I just need like 200 more subscribers or so. So anyways, guys, God bless. See you later.